Hey everybody. So, um, I've gotten back to a few comments. It's going, oh, you know, y'all are asking some real good questions, man. Um, so it's going to take me a little bit. Uh, I've been running around all day, um, you know, looking for food and just, uh, a lot of looking for food um, and just helping her move from point A to point B and <clears throat> you know it's been a busy day so um, it might take me a few days to get back to the two other uh, comments but I do very much so want to get back to them and um, you know it's strange I mean you know I share you know very intimate details about my life and my person and you know you get people watch my channel and these videos and you know they comment on them and um I don't know it's just a uh, it does give me hope you know it does give me hope sometimes I get kind of resentful or angry because you know um just you know it's like if you had a good friend if you're really good friends with somebody and um you know you know they're fucking hurting or something, even if it's a few bucks or whatever, maybe. Um, you know, I, mean, I don't know how you guys do your relationships, but I would help that friend out. And uh, so, you know, part of me sometimes gets a little irked by silly, stupid shit like that. But, you know, I mean, y'all, you know, <clears throat> choosing to interact and, I mean, it isn't like the physical, like there's levels to everything. So online relationships or interactions are not the same as physical interactions. So, you know, I, I'm expecting y'all to fucking physically support me. And I don't expect, it's just, I get, you know, when I don't get what I want, <laughs> um, I get bummed out. And then because, you know, of the intimate details that I share and, you know, y'all watching it, it feels like to a certain level it's building an intimate relationship and it is and so I guess along with that intimacy I ex again I'm tr that, that word expect wants to come out of my vocabulary and I need to take that word out because when you have expectations that's when you get let down you know it's good to expect nothing and you receive everything right or you're never disappointed um, and then again, a lot of the times the things that I ask for that I need you know that I, don't, I don't really need them it's, it's a want cigarettes or some herbs or what have you be you know there's always plenty of food there's always water you know I've never really starved out here on the streets um, so I mean God takes care of me man he takes care of us all um, so anyway I wanted to just share that with you guys and let you know that I do want to get back to uh, the comments and I've, I've seen them I've you know browsed through them and um, you know, thank you. It, uh, I have spent so much time on my own, like, and then to jump from, like, you know, person to person and, you know, get really deep involved in certain relationships and people and, you know, for whatever reason, they don't, you know, they don't really last the way I'd like or the way I feel even, you know, longevity is. You know, as far as, you know, I mean, me and Joshua Pops, you know, he, that's, you know, we're on good terms now, but, you know, we had a long separation, man, and <clears throat> that hurt, and I know I'm accountable for what I did in that situation, just as, you know, he is, and we all are in all the situations we're in, but, you know, just being who I am and you know walking around like I was walking around the college area today because a lot of times the college fucking trash cans have got food you know they throw away and shit um so I was looking for some food and I'm looking at the faces like I'm starting to see like really see more into people's soul and their energy as I pass them by and um you know a lot of these college kids at least in this area it's not that they don't I mean it's almost like they're just so self-centered. Like, it's not even like a super selfish thing. Like, I wouldn't even call these people selfish people, but they're just so, it's, in a, it's a programming. It feels like a fucking spell that they've, you know, they've got over themselves, inside themselves, that they're perpetuating, that just keeps them focused on, on just like their life, their, you know, their studies, their eventual career, 
all these things and it's they just don't even like they don't even look me in the eye they don't even give and not just me just everybody it's just their general aura is just very much like a apathetic is the word that comes to mind it's just the do you do you do you and you're gonna be all right and it's just all that attention to the to the monetary currency that saddens the soul and it weighs the heart down and then they got these kids thinking that they're, I mean, that's what everybody in America wants to do, right? That's why people move here is to go to college and fucking get a good job and fucking have kids and da 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 retire at 65 with all this shit. And it's like they have so many of these people under this fucking spell and then they go about, you know, doing it, you know. And I can see full well how it's taken away from their soul, how it's taken away from their love, how it's taken away their desire to want to interact and be passionate about life. You know, and it's sad. And these are the people of our future. These are the people that are going to create companies that are going to fucking be employers that are going to fucking be entrepreneurs, you know, and, and the, I mean, there's some really bright, you know, intelligent people that I see. I can see that they're just very capable human beings, you know, I mean, we all are. I'm just saying, you know, in general, we all have levels and skills and there's some very skilled and talented people out there and they're very young. And just to see how this system, how this fucking, you know, this corporate society that we live in you know it's just it molds their brain a certain way you know and it's not even it doing it it's just because it knows what makes us tick and what we like to play with it puts the bait out there and then just so many people go after the bait and the bait they throw out there isn't always like oh it doesn't always have a poison sign on it a lot of times it'll have a fucking heart or a lot of times it'll be something that's masked to be good when in actuality it's not good and they just keep biting it, they keep feeding on it, they keep consuming it, and they have their parents that are supporting them to do it, and the parents are under the same fucking spell, and it's just this constant perpetuation of this fucking spell that's all self-centered, it's all egotistical, it's all, you know, designed around your own fucking power, your own kingdom, your own this, your own car, your own wardrobe, da 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 It's very much aligned in Satanism. I mean, it is what the fuck it is. And again, the devil's greatest trick is convincing the world he didn't exist. So if he can get a, us to go along with this fucking his script, you know, but how are you going to get some uh, creatures from God? Because we're made in his image and likeness. You know, how are you going to get things directly from God, like God, to go against God, to go against fucking, you know, the word love? You know, you, it would have to be something that it's masked like love because we are love. So we're drawn to love. So they've turned this fucking society and this system into, into something that's designed to look good aesthetically, you know, up front, cover, face cover, face value. It looks good, but it, when you get into the content, when you get into the details, the devil's in the details, it's not good. And most people are even aware that it's not good, but they still continue to do it because it's the trend. It's what everybody else is doing. They don't have an opportunity else. They don't have an option. They feel they have no option. They feel they have no alternative. And there's always one there. There's a solution to every problem, man. You know, nobody tells you you have to do these things. We all just go along with it because it's the flow. It's the way things are done now. You know, and as I'm saying this, I know all the sadness that I experience and observe and absorb is absolutely necessary it needs to be here i need to feel these things i need i need i've needed to be on the streets and to deal with and be with and engage with and interact with all the people that i've interacted with you know everything happens for a reason we're all right where the fuck we need to be even when you being where you are doesn't feel good at all and you can do want nothing more than to be away from the feeling that you're currently in that's exactly where you need to be and there's a reason for it you know, and that's another thing that gets me about this society is it, it, it takes you away from your feelings. It takes you away from your power. Your emotions are your power. Your love is your power. So the more that you fucking energy you put into the mundane, the materialistic, the less power you have spiritually. It is what it is. That's also why, you know, part of me gets irked with some of these celebrities and people with a lot of money and finances because... It's like they don't even know they're sitting back, you know, with all this monetary currency, but they're missing out on the lovely currency. You know, and it, I'm not, you know, I'm definitely not the smartest cat in the fucking room. And I'm not the best at, you know, staying professional and proficient with my words and you know, all this and that. You know, and a part of me wants to just let this thing happen organically without having all this fucking scripted lines and periods and dots and exclamation points and fucking dashes and, 
you know, but I know another part of me knows that it needs to be done that way. It needs to be outlined of a specific professional, very legitimate and simple manner so that it's not up for interpretation because this is God's law we're talking about. This is God's will. This is a theocratical society that's designed completely around the word. So it's not open for interpretation. It is what the fuck it is. It works. I know it works. The more energy I put into it, the better off I am, the better off my environment is. I know it. It saved my life. It saved countless other lives. So, you know, I, I don't know. I just, I don't even know what the purpose of this video is other than just express how I feel right here. And to also share with you guys the state that I see our college students in right now. Um, and that it's a sad one. From my perspective, it's a sad one. You know, and then once you get to know a little bit more how shit really works, it's like you can watch these fucking puppeteers pulling the strings on all these people, and it's like, ah, you just want to wake them up, you know? You just want to fucking let them know what's really going on. Tell them they don't have to do this shit. Tell them there's more to life. Tell them you can smile at a, a passerby on the street. It's, it's, it's actually a very good thing. It's a very beautiful thing. One of the best things I have in life is just that just simply sharing love between somebody i've never met before just because we're in the same space with each other it's beautiful it doesn't cost any money it's absolutely free other than the effort you and him or her take to exchange energy in that type of way and that's really what it's all about at the end of the day the good company the good energy exchange the good fucking cooperation and teamwork camaraderie these are things that are dying though and it's up to all of us, all of us to help out and re-vigor, re-ignite, re-fucking juvenate life, love, God. We all have a part to play in this. Nobody's really better than anybody else. We're all designed to be exactly as we are. You know, everybody, sure, somebody may be stronger than you, but they're only stronger than you because that's just where they're at in their walk. Doesn't mean they're better than you, really. I mean, God loves us all the same, you know? And that's what it gets down to is, you know, and, and again, this society, the way it fucking has this chasing after this money and this and that and that and this, you know, it, it brings about this competitive nature that takes away the fact that we are all equally loved. That God does, did make us all and he loves for his children as much as he loves for all the children. And nobody's really even better. I mean, you know, and the word is the word and, you know, I'm not pop, so I might be speaking a little bit too much on this, but that's how I feel, you know? That's how I'd want to treat my children. If I had a family, when I when I should say when, I mean, I, I can't, I don't know for sure, but I would really like to. I wouldn't want to ever fucking favor one child over the other. You know, no matter what, you give them what they need. You know, not what they want all the time. It's good to, you know, to spoil them. I mean, that word spoil has a lot of things to it, but it's good to treat them. It's good to reward them. But it's also good to know when it's, you got to be tough and fucking... It's also good to know when you got to be soft, you know? It's also good to know when you got to listen and when you got to speak and you got to let them talk. Because a lot of times, you know, growing up, you know, it's the parents talking to the children and there's a lack of interaction that that is, I think, absolutely essential for good growth. Because, like, a teacher can tell you all these things and, sure, they can flood you with a bunch of information and you can memorize the fuck out of it, but if you can't really feel that information, if you can't really feel that lesson... If you don't really believe in what they're saying, if you don't really have a passion for what they're doing and, and what they're about and understand why they're doing what it is that they're doing, then, I mean, how well are you really going to absorb that information, you know? And how well are you going to know it? You know, the more you interact with things, the better you're going to get to learn them. The more fucking genuine your experience is going to be with that person in that situation, the more you fucking choose to interact. This is why speaking and listening are both extremely imperative fucking human tools and aspects of life that, you know, again, it's something that I've lost touch with because I've spent so much time on my own. And, you know, the more I speak, the more I listen, the better off I feel most of the time. Again, it depends on the, the, the conversation and all this and that. Um, but, uh, you know, it's all, it goes back to the college kids. Like, the way they live their life, it's so very much closed off. Like, they have their own little bubble that they interact with and they choose to just push the rest of the world away. Like, it's not even there. You know, not even give a fuck about all the things that are going on overseas or where all their goods come from or, you know, what these teachers are really teaching them. If the teachers even know what they're teaching them is really about and what it's really behind. 
but they just go along with it because everybody else is going along with it. In the meantime, you know, they pass their fellow human being down the street and, you know, they don't even know enough to fucking recognize the soul within that human being and share that beautiful moment. You know, and to know that, like, you know, being an energetic being as we all are, you know, the more love you have, the more love you're able to share. That's the beauty. That's the currency. That's what we're all really fucking after is to feel good. And what feels better than feeling loved and to be able to share that love with another? It's not toxic. It doesn't cost you money. It's not going to destroy your organs. It's going to do the opposite of all those things. It's going to help your organs. It's going to help your currency. It's going to help your fellow creature that you're talking to. It's going to help yourself feel better. It's literally going to change the atmosphere of the environment you're around. And I just see these cats and they're just walking and doing their fucking thing. And, and they have this pretentiousness about them. Like they're on the right track and they're doing all these things and they're super successful. And yeah, and in that area, in that angle you are, but you're missing the fucking best point of life. Which is the adventure, which is the love, which is the companionship, which is the company that you're in. And that's why these colleges and this whole society is really fucking bent and focused on just the individual being an individual and not really caring about the rest of his environment. And to me, that's just in line with what fucking Satan's all about. It's being your own God, being as powerful as you can be, being as da 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 having as much currency and money and bitches and, or dicks or whatever the fuck it is that you can have. And gloating it and boasting it and fucking da 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 just going against God's will to love one another equally, unconditionally. So, alright, anyway, I feel like I'm rambling a little bit, but I love you guys. And, you know, um, again, I do feel a little bit bad. I haven't gotten back to more comments, but it is on my heart and my mind. And I do want to get back to y'all, alright? Y'all take care. See you later. Bye.